A fossil forest is not just a record of fossil trees, but it's a record of where fossil trees were growing, where they were standing in relation to one another, what the ecology of the forest was, and what environmental setting it was growing in. I'm Chris Berry. I'm a paleobotanist at Cardiff University. The trees are of, of the oldest type that we find um, anywhere in the world that have been published to date. So they're about 390 million years old. We have very good evidence of what fossil forests were like five million years later, in particularly in New York State. Um, but this is the oldest record that we have at the moment. One part of the discovery is the fossil trees themselves. It's called a cladozolopsid, and its generic name is uh, calamophyton, so they're calamophyton trees. These are long trees, uh, one, two to four meters long, probably in length, and formed of rows of attached branches. Um, instantly recognizable to specialists like me, but maybe you might think of it as looking a bit like a bicycle track across the rocks or something like that. Second part of the discovery is um, in particular, one place where we can see the bases of the trees actually in the sediment where they were sitting next to a, an ancient river channel. And we can see the trees fallen over um, and pointing away from their bases towards the river channel and in various different directions. So we know from that exactly where the trees were growing and what the forest would have looked like and, and we can reconstruct it from those uh, footprints. Trees are so important today. We know that from people worrying about deforestation and so on. Uh, and what is it that's important about trees? Well, it's the way that they exchange carbon dioxide and oxygen and, and effectively control the composition of the atmosphere. It's these types of activities that make plants so important to our planet. 